Morning, Steve Lentini, Lord and Lentini, training for life, and the best, getting better. Today, I wanted to talk about leadership versus control. So true leaders relinquish control of the end result, and they don't get angry when their team doesn't give them the exact end result that they had wished for or hoped for. They just keep coaching them and encouraging them, knowing that that's necessary for the team's development and growth. I've worked with leaders that were controlling, and it's, it's a very stifling environment. And I've worked with leaders who were great. They were encouraging, and they delegated, and they relinquished control, and they broke decision-making level down to the lowest possible level. And they encouraged risk-taking. And they often just labeled failure as a lesson. There's an engineer in Pittsburgh that John Maxwell talks about in his writings who has a course called Fail Fast. And he encourages people to come up with the craziest ideas, such as a hamster hot tub, so that people learn really quickly to go ahead and fail, right? Have, try your crazy idea, and then when you fail, look at the lessons. Instead of calling it a failure, Look at what you learned along the way, because people who are afraid to fail don't learn as much as people who aren't afraid, right? The people who aren't afraid learn lessons all along the way, and it's like a staircase. They keep climbing that, that ladder to success. Remember what Edison said. He didn't fail. He just learned 2,000 ways not to make a light bulb. That's, that's the attitude that you need. So go out and learn ways not to achieve what your dream is or what your goal is or what your crazy idea is. And then watch things happen in your career. Watch that because you have a leader that's helping you develop by relinquishing control and giving you permission to have some fun and try some things. Now make sure that your project won't drive the company out of business. So check in on that. And if it's not going to, if it's something that is safe enough to try, dare. That's the problem with so many companies. They don't dare. And they just talk about all day long about how the competition is kicking their butt and they just can't compete. It's, it's all BS. It's all registering in here and it's wasted energy. Instead, take a look at the mistakes, the failures as lessons and as a staircase to your success, that you're on the way to achieving. So sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. That's another John Maxwell book. It's well worth the time to read it. And get out there and fail fast. Thanks.